The latest reports of alleged foul play at the Pumwani Maternity Hospital played out to the public gallery late Monday afternoon, courtesy of Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko, who together with his media team recorded events at the region's busiest maternity referral hospital and streamed the pictures live on Facebook. The governor also taking pictures of the dead babies, which later surfaced on social media. The story of 12 children dead due to negligent staff seeming to play into the emotions of many Kenyans who expressed their anger and disappointment over the matter. In mid-July, the governor recorded an Nairobi businessman, Praful Kumar, as he was arrested by ESCC officials at the governor's residence in Kilifi County. EACC made the arrest after getting evidence that the businessman wanted to offer a bribe of 1 million shillings to Governor Sonko to facilitate approval of his hotel under construction. The county government of Nairobi had stopped the construction of the hotel on the 16th of August 2016. First lady wako, first lady wangu. A few weeks earlier, the governor of Nairobi recorded a telephone conversation between himself and the governor of Kiambu, Ferdinand Waititu. The latter pleading with the former to release his wife, who had been arrested by city askaris over building violations in the city. In his time as the Member of Parliament for Makedara, Sonko released his frustrations over what he termed as bad governance in the city on iron doors in the city centre. A charged crowd that accompanied him that afternoon was treated to drama by the Mheshimiwa, who lay on the tarmac kicking and screaming. In his time as Nairobi senator, Sonko put in a call to the head of state seeking his intervention over demolition of structures to pave way for road expansion in the city. Thank you, sir. Thank Though he got the approval to have the demolition halted, it was the decision to make the call public by putting it on speaker mode that got many questions the then senator's intent. The governor has several ways of passing his messages. In the build-up to the 2017 election, the best way he could urge for peace and calm was how he wore his hair. <laughs> While on a trip to the International Criminal Court at The Hague, Sonko made sure that the world knew clearly what his thoughts over the proceedings at the court then were. Whether many approve of his tactics or not, this seems to be a popular style that Sonko seems to approve of. In order to effectively send out key messages to his targeted audiences. Leila Mohamed, NTV.